At the end of the 60s, Boot Düsseldorf was just beginning to emerge. Later, the popular television show Das Aktuelle Sportstudio was produced in the exhibition halls, so it has not just now become the largest water sports fair in the world. It attracts hundreds of thousands of visitors and wants nothing less than to awaken the enthusiasm of water sports in us all. This is no longer necessary for the advocates at the press conference in celebration of the 50th anniversary of the trade fair. Nuno Sa is a filmmaker, has filmed for the BBC and Blue Planet and has experienced things that in their rarity can compare to a moon landing. Being in the sea 10-12 hours a day and getting nothing, but those 5% of trips where something happens, it's usually something amazing. And just, just having a blue whale that's 25 to 30 meters just pass by you like a submarine is something uh, unbelievable. Sarah Kita from Aruba was not aware of her love for the ocean while she was living in the Caribbean island paradise. And then she started studying in the Netherlands. The top surfer became a traveler searching for warmth and an ambassador for the ocean. It's like a feeling of pure freedom, you know, and, and bliss. Like the moment you get on the water, it's, it's the only time that you're completely disconnected from everything. Because these days we're always connected on our phones and stuff. But once I step on my board and, and I hold my sail and I just speed past the water, it's just complete liberty, freedom, adrenaline. In order for water sports enthusiasts to be able to keep feeling this freedom, the boat Düsseldorf has taken water protection into their trade fair program. It is a matter of responsibility. If an organizer can reach so many people, then also with wake-up calls to ensure that in the future diving and surfing remain fascinating and inspiring.